What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you a realistic Gymshark sizing review and I'm also going to give you the honest opinion on what I think the clothes are like this season. So what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. What I mean by a realistic Gymshark sizing review is that most of the sizing reviews are actually done by their athletes themselves. So they're kind of biased in a way, but also those athletes have been training for so long that they're gonna look good in those clothes no matter what. That's why they are Gymshark athletes. Gymshark have literally hired them because they look good in their clothes. So I'm gonna show you off my physique. It's between my cutting and bulking phase at the moment, which means it's gonna be around about a mid range for most of you. I myself have only been training for about three years so I have a very obtainable physique unlike some of the people who are actually working for Gymshark not to knock them or anything but like to compare their sizing guide against beginners is completely unfair so I'm gonna give you some of my dimensions and then hopefully that will help you out in choosing I myself have chosen medium for everything and I've got from hoodies all the way down to joggers pretty much every item so you guys can work out around about where you are based from my dimensions also I would like to say quickly that I'm not knocking Gymshark in this video by any means otherwise I wouldn't buy their products I think they are a good company nor am I affiliated with them so I'm gonna give as unbiased as a review as possible for the actual clothing okay guys so first things first I'm gonna give you a quick physique update of where I am so you guys can sort of compare yourselves against me just so you can size things up and I'm currently like I said sitting between a bulk and cutting phase right now so this is what it looks like pretty much like with my top off dimension wise I'm not sure but I will leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys are interested in that I'll do some measurements and stuff on my arms and chest So pretty standard, I think somewhere in the middle of where most of you guys will be and nothing unobtainable like some of the athletes in Gymshark at the minute. Hopefully that'll give you some sort of idea of where you sit with all the clothings when I'm using mediums. First things first, I'm gonna be reviewing the Fit Taper joggers which I'm wearing now. So I'm gonna drop the camera down and talk about what I think of the material and everything and the actual fit. So these are the Fit Taper joggers. These are the first times me wearing these. They actually fit like extremely well around the butt and everything. On the quad feels absolutely quality. They've got a lovely nice logo there, but I was expecting one on the bum to be honest. I'm not sure what ones they are. That must be a different kind of jogger. But the one thing I would say is I like these zips on the heel. They're gonna be super handy for summertime when you can just like roll them up a little bit and like get that air in. But the material does feel a little bit cheap, I'm not gonna lie. It feels a little bit like pajama material, if I'm honest. Like, it feels that if you were squatting, which I think they are squat-proof, like, you can get down nice and low in them. They're not restricting in any way. But I feel that if you do it over and over again, because the material is such a light material, that you could either, like, throw the knees out of line, so you'll get, like, the little bag on the knee, or on the bum. So, they like, the bum material actually starts to sag a little bit, which I have found in, like, cheaper materials of joggers but that is something I'm gonna to have to put to test over time and maybe give you something a review on in the future. Overall though, I do think they are a nice fit and this is a medium, like I said, they're not cropping at the ankles too much, which is nice. And they do actually have little zip pockets, which is great because obviously when you're in the gym and stuff, it's nice to put your phone in there. You're doing bench press, you don't want your phone falling out. So that is ideal for the gym. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the old school Gymshark shirts, which I think they have actually revamped because the material feels a lot nicer on them. Before, these were like like one of the first ever releases for Gymshark and the material was cheaper on them then but you can feel that it actually has a bit of a stretch now you can see the lines in it if you look up close which is nice so this is the vest guys this is the uh, stringer I think they call it and it does have a really nice length which I like because with a bit of length on these stringers it's perfect for overhead press it does it's not gonna like ride up on your stomach which is always ideal in the gym the lat insertions for myself I would say they come about mid lat for me, and I'm six foot one. For me, preferably, I would prefer a larger lat insertion, but that's not for everyone. Not everyone wants to be that revealing, and Gymshark is a company. They're probably gonna wanna meet as many people's needs as possible. So, mid range for the lat, that's probably all right. Reveals enough up here, but also hides the nipples for me. One thing I would say is like, it's just covering the nipples when I'm standing like normally. So if I was to do like chest flies, it is gonna ride in on your chest like quite a lot and then you're gonna get like a nipple slip there here and there so Biro is probably gonna get that with a stringer so that's just one of those things. Next we have some compression gear from Gymshark. Now this is a medium again but this is like super tight on me but then again it is compression gear. This is from the Gymshark dry range so 
tags are still on it. This is the first time I'm trying everything. I think it fits perfectly on the delt. I'm not sure if you can see in this actual lighting. Perfectly on the arms, you can see the tricep flexing and everything. The lats come in nicely, but if you are mid bulk like me, you kind of got like this alien look going on because it's so tapered, so it does like kind of push out a little bit on the gut. You are gonna see like every lump and bump with this t-shirt. Perfect for cutting, but not so much when you're like mid bulk slash bulking because then you're gonna get all of your curves. I do actually love this logo on the side though. That's actually awesome. And the material feels amazing. Like compression wise, this is top notch material. Fair play Gymshark. Like this is up there with like Nike Under Armour. The compression material on this feels amazing. Maybe would not recommend when you're bulking. Then again, you could still rock this style and hide up that gut with a hoodie, which, oh, it actually has thumb holes. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much these are gonna be like in fashion recently because we got January, February, and then it starts to get warm again. So you might not be rocking a hoodie. And this is quite a thick hoodie. If you guys like don't, can't tell from this, this is a thicker hoodie than normal, which you would normally wear to the gym. I have one in Gymshark, which is like a light gray, and that is a really light material. That's perfect for the gym, because you can actually train in it. This though, I would say is more for fashion. It's definitely a lot thicker than the other one. Maybe perfect if you train in an old school gym this winter, but not so much if you train in a normal gym, because you're gonna get absolutely roasting. The fit on the sleeve seems perfect. Like there's enough room to flex and everything in these. The hood isn't that thick. It is like kind of cheapy material, but then again, you probably not gonna have your hood up because it is more for style. I am liking this embroidered Gymshark logo rather than the actual like they've painted it on. So that's actually stitched in which is gonna be like super high quality. That's not gonna get wrecked in the wash which is ideal. And then once you've zipped it up it's probably gonna be tapered. Yeah so it's, pr it's pretty well tapered. I would say maybe a little bit short on the sides there but it comes like it's kind of got that scoop look so it's gonna be longer at the front longer at the back. They do have on the drawstrings like the little plastic things but the drawstrings themselves they seem again like a really cheap lace. That is one of those things which companies like this they could up their game by like just maybe like stupid little things by adding like Gymshark like a little logo or something on the drawstring. That's nitpicky but when other companies do that say for example you own a clothing brand and you actually go out of your way to do that that does make a difference for the customer because they think, oh, even the drawstrings are like great quality. So I think the quality of the jumper in general though is quite good. It's definitely warm because I'm roasting in it now, but I do have the compression gear underneath. But yeah, this is a pretty nice purchase. I think it fits well. And also goes quite nicely with the tapered bottoms. So we're gonna change out of them now and show you what the men's leggings are like. Okay, so for this one, we're going with compression on compression, just because I think it looks kind of cool. It's like black on black, but I have these on now and I'm not lying. I said I'm not affiliated with Gymshark, but these are like quality leggings. I've bought Gymshark leggings like in the past. A couple of you may have actually seen them in my workout videos and they are decent, like they're okay, but the material is nowhere near the standard of these ones. Like these are, I can't even explain them. I'll show you guys now. So like the tightness of these and the actual fit, they're gonna be perfect for compression. Like they're ideal. They're completely squat proof. They have panels in the quad, which actually, even though it's black on black, makes your leg look even slightly bigger. Like I don't have big legs at all, so that's kind of why I'm giving you this guide, because it's gonna be a more realistic guide compared to the athletes, because the athletes will have like massive legs, massive muscles, and that's gonna like make any of the clothes look awesome. So for me, a medium guy, pretty standard in between cutting and bulking, I think they look pretty good. Like they fit the glutes really well. I'm not sure if you can see. Let's do that girl pose. There you go. They fit the glutes pretty well. The legs, the hamstrings, I feel like they've got a lot of play in them. Fit wise, like I said, they are nice and tight, which is a good thing for compression because that's what you want. You want to be keeping the heat in. The knees on them are like, they're almost like, I want to say sandpaper, but that sounds bad because sandpaper is like not good. Obviously you wouldn't want sandpaper on your skin, but the outsides of them, they feel like rough which is like super cool, like the feel of them. And they actually cut at the ankle at like a perfect length rather than my other gym sharks. I actually have to like roll them up and stuff. They were too long, even though they were a medium as well. So overall, I think Gymshark have definitely like up their game since I've had like a big order in. And hopefully this has given you guys some insight to like where I stand with a medium and everything. So again, I am six foot one. I am currently 181 pounds for those guys wondering. I will have put that in the description below because I think I forgot to mention it at the start. 
that. But I hope that helps you guys. If you want more sizing guides from like different companies and stuff with honest opinions and like realistic sizing guides, because like I said, most of the athletes they'll be hiring are like, let's be honest, they're in amazing shape, not knocking them in any way, but they are gonna look sick in like anything you give them. So if you guys want it from my point of view, let me know in the comment section below. Like the video, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching today, guys. Peace.